welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kelsey, aka Mother Vegan, and today I thought that we should do a Veganuary video. I mean, it's quite obvious this channel's Mother Vegan, it's Veganuary. I should really do something. Okay, number one is a very important one. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all slip up, we all have slipped up. I still slip up now. I remember being at um, my niece's birthday party once and I was happily eating all the, the mini cheese, cheese and onion rolls. It's veggie at this time. I mean, mini cheese and onion rolls. Um, next to that plate were the sausage rolls and I just threw a sausage roll into my mouth and then I was like, hmm, this tastes weird. Then I realized it's actually sausage roll. I was so angry with myself, like extremely ang angry with myself, but you know, we have all done it and you will do it and even the really strict vegans, it will happen at some point. Don't be so hard on yourself. Number two, um, so this is basically, if you are on a budget like myself and you've seen all these wonderful vegan chocolates and vegan sweets and everything in the free from section you're like oh that sounds lovely but i don't want to pay three pounds for a tiny bar of chocolate i'm looking at you galaxy um there are so many vegan snacks or accidentally vegan snacks that don't have the vegan tax as i like to call it there's stuff like um bourbonville bourbons jammy dodges fruit pastels are now nearly vegan oreos favourite of vegans because they are probably the nicest, cheapest biscuits out there. Loads of flavour crisps, these are flavours that you wouldn't even think were vegan. Um, there's chicken flavour crisps, bacon flavour crisps, there's loads of actual meat flavour crisps that aren't actually meat. So just be aware about that. There is actually a vegan group called Accidentally Vegan, which is a great group to go on and it just gives you loads of ideas of things that don't have the vegan tax on. Number three is find a support network. Try and get somebody to go on the Veganuary journey along with you because it just makes life so much easier, especially if it's some of them with, that you're living with. Um, if you can't find anybody who wants to do it with you, then sign up to Veganuary itself. There's such a huge support network and also join as many vegan groups as possible. I've mentioned them before, but some of them do have the vegan police on them. So the ones that say, oh, you're not vegan enough because you do this or that or this, they are infuriating. But as a whole, Facebook groups are actually really supportive. Number four is the opposite of accidentally vegan. So there are so many items out there that you would assume would be vegan, but never, ever, ever assume. For example, I found out a couple of weeks ago that there are frozen veg packets so frozen veg just frozen veg nothing else frozen veg that aren't vegan they for some reason put milk powder in them um so yeah just be careful always read the packets double read the packets triple read the packets until you're really really confident with reading packets always read them a million times before you buy something even for example things that you've bought loads I've learned to check them as well because there have been times where recipes have changed and they've added milk or egg or something in them without really advertising it massively so always check the labels and never assume something is vegan. Number five, a lot of people do Veganuary because they want a health kick which is great, vegan, the vegan diet is the healthiest diet out there. Um, but do not assume that you're going to lose loads of weight because when you're vegan or when you're turning vegan you think that your diet is really restricted and you're not going to be able to buy all of your favourite things such as chocolate or burgers, sausages, all the junk food that you love, pizzas even, all the junk food that you know and love you think you can't have so when you do find a vegan alternative you will buy that even if you don't need it. So yeah you will find yourself buying things just because of vegan and because you get that excited that there's something out there you can have, you just end up buying loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. So just be aware, you may not lose weight like you want to. Number six is similar to that. It's if you were eating a whole foods plant-based diet, always say that wrong, whole foods plant-based diet, 
then you will find yourself feeling hungry when you when you first start it. That's absolutely normal. Your body has not been deprived of anything. It's just your body getting used to this new diet that you're trying out um, and hopefully stick to. So it'll take you a little while, but it won't take you long at all. It'll only take you a few weeks and then your body will be like, oh yeah, I'm full after that. Just as long as you're eating loads of fibre and all the right nutrients and you're getting everything that you need, you'll be fine. It's just your body getting used to it. Again, your body getting used to this new diet that you're having, you may find yourself a little bit gassier than normal. Again, completely normal, nothing wrong with it. It's just you're probably consuming a lot more veg and a lot more fiber than you were before. So you, that's just what your body's getting used to and that's the way of your body just, well, getting used to it. So don't know the science behind it, but it is normal and it will calm down. You just have to push through that always try new foods don't just assume that just because it's veg it lacks flavor because believe me vegan food does not lack flavor you just have to try it so everyone assumes that vegan diets are boring all you do is eat rabbit food eat salad but in reality you eat the rainbow honestly vegan foods are so delicious they are i mean when you eat meat what you're doing is basically taking a dead body sprinkling some herbs on it which are plants and then that's where the flavour comes from. Vegan foods are the flavours of what you put on the, the meat. So vegan foods are delicious, especially with all this new fantastic like, burgers and sausages coming out. And if you think about it, a stir fry, if you're having a stir fry, you put the same sauces as what you were gonna have if you were having meat. You're just taking the meat out. But if you really wanted to, sprinkle some Linda Picartney hoisin duck on it. Again, so flavoursome and always try new food. So, as I mentioned before, cheese was my hardest thing to give up and it's most people's hardest thing to give up. I don't think people find giving up meat as hard as giving up cheese and that's because it's an addictive substance. It's the casein in it that is addictive. It's made for carbs to keep going back to the mothers, but it still has the effect on us. So we are addicted to cheese. Um, what I will say is vegan cheeses don't taste the same as dairy cheeses. They don't. So my recommendation to you is give yourself some time before you try the vegan cheeses. Some people give themselves a couple of weeks, a month. I actually gave myself quite a bit of time because being a vegetarian, most of the vegetarian meals did include cheese. So cheese was in basically every single one of my meals. So I was fully and truly addicted to cheese. So yeah, give yourself some time to get over the taste of cheese, forget about the taste of cheese, get over your addiction to cheese and then try vegan cheeses. Uh, my personal favourites are Via Life, uh, all of them, they're all, they're all delicious. Morrison's own are leading the way with vegan cheeses, they are so nice, they're cheaper than Via Life. Um, the jalapeno and the Greek ones are actually my favourite. I personally didn't like Mexicana or Applewood, I say I didn't like, I wouldn't choose to buy them, I'd buy a bio life over them, but I know a lot of people did like them, so do try those cheeses, but you give yourself a break of giving up cheese to when you try the new cheese. So the final one is just some inspiration to keep you going, and it's just my recommendation of some vegan YouTubers. So the first one is Earthling Ed. He is he articulates himself so well, he makes a point without judging you in a way or judging anybody um he's just he's fantastic and they've actually just him and Serge which I've, I'm guessing Serge is his company but they've actually just bought a a plot of land that they're going to turn into a sanctuary and I'm hoping by the time he was a little bit older I'll be able to take him there because it's obviously not ready yet. Pick Up Lines is also a fantastic one she's actually a nutritionist so as she's making the recipes, which I've tried a lot of the recipes and they are so, so beautiful. They're so flavoursome, but she also says why and what is in the recipe that is good for you and beneficial for you and everything that we should have as a vegan as well as absolutely anybody out there. So she's fantastic, really knowledgeable. Next one is Avant Garde. Now, Gaz is wonderful. His recipes are quite complex and much more out there so if you're confident cook go follow 
go follows Gaz, but I have made a couple of his recipes and they are really, really nice. But even if you don't follow his recipes exactly, he does give you a lot of inspiration of what you can make and what you can eat as a vegan. And the final one is Madeline Olivia. She does minimalism, sustainable living, and she has loads and loads and loads of vegan recipes. They're my 10 tips for Veganuary, and hopefully, fingers crossed, you will stick to being vegan once January is over. Even if you don't stick to being vegan after it, even if you just cut down your meat and dairy consumption, that's a massive help. So yeah, I hope you found these useful and I will be doing some more videos um, over the next probably week or so. I need to do a food shop in Morrison's. I'm going to do some videos of cheap, quick and easy meals for busy parents like myself. And also some breakfast ideas because I know people get stuck with breakfast when you're vegan. So yeah, those videos are coming. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you do get notified when these videos come. And if you do have any other tips or suggestions, or if you like this video, please leave a comment and give it a big thumbs up. And remember, one small change can make a massive difference. Bye guys!